Fuck me. Waiting out a very nasty storm, going King Salmon fishing later. Look at this. We heard a lightning bolt hit. Just now, they had to have been less than a mile away. That was loud. All right, as you can see behind me, we're actually getting dumped on. 60 mile per hour winds coming off of a screen recording that I just took. We got golf ball size hail coming. We'll actually see if that comes, but we were actually on the road going to Milwaukee when we knew this was coming. And I honestly said to Justin, like, yo, we should just go back, unhook the boat, let this shit get out of here and go back. It's only gonna last about a half hour and the rain's coming in and there goes power. Power's flickering. There's the hail. There's the hail. Oh, and there's the hail. It's not golf ball yet. Oh my god, there's a car driving, dude, in this. Look the car. We were going to drive in this. We would have been This is by far the most dangerous weather that we would have been in. Oh my god. I got a big blanket, bungee cord on top of the engine to protect the boat. Oh my god. Oh my god. That barn is right? I don't know. Yo, shut the garage. Shut the garage. Look at that tree. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Well, they were right about the predictions. <laughs> oh my All right, God. we're gonna wait out this storm. Power's flickering. This is actually wild. Thank God we came back. We would've been driving in this. Well, the 60 mile per hour winds, I think is definitely coming true. It is hailing, not golf ball size, but we literally could've been driving this and we're like, you know what? We're not gonna take this risk. Wait it out a half hour, then get back on the road and drive up an hour and a half to Milwaukee. There goes the power again. But guys, remember, every time we make these videos, we're driving an hour and a half there, spending 80 to 100 bucks on gas. It's legit an hour and a half there, hour and a half back. And we do these videos for you guys. We love fishing King Salmon. So remember guys, just leave a like on this video, drop a comment. We appreciate your support and we hope you guys keep watching these videos. But we're gonna wait out of the storm. We'll keep you guys updated if anything crazy happens. Alright guys, 2.15, that brutal store is over. Uh, my power went out as we right when we left, but we got the Jenny kicked on. But we got about an hour, hour and a half drive up now. We're already on the road. Hopefully we can smack some Sam today. I'm feeling good. We got the brand new St. Croix rods. They got dropped off right before that storm. So it's kind of almost like, it was like meant to happen. It was one of those things where me and Justin got on the road, saw that storm coming, checked the radar, said golf ball size hail, which that definitely did not happen, but it was super windy. Rain started pouring, but we're good now. We're on the road and we're on our way up to Milwaukee. So hopefully we can film a bigger for you guys, but hopefully we get some Sammy's. Here we go. All right, guys, we just pulled up to Milwaukee. I uh, talked to a gentleman at the boat launch. He said that he hooked one on Skein, fought it for 20 minutes, came off, saw three others jump. We just came to look at these two rock points here in the harbor and the current's moving a little bit too fast. A lot of sediment down there. So we're gonna push back to where he was talking about, see if we can get on some of those uh, Skein fish and uh, hopefully pull some off today. Sixty-five here. Yeah. Good little fish. Oh, you know the current just went slack. Dude, this gap's is like the most loaded I've seen it all year. Oh, he's hooked up. Lost it. Oh, no, he's on. It's 
See, I always I have my rod how I hold it for when I when I'm hooked up. Dude, come on! One of these have to hit. One of these have to hit. No way! I said one of these have to hit. Talk to me, bud. Good job, baby. Guys, the graph was literally lit up. You heard me say one of these have to hit right when he jigged. It's on. Yeah. Now I want to trim that motor up. Just in case. Might run towards you, Josh. Yep. Oh, it's a nice one. Tell me when you need the knot. Oh, it's still got quite a bit of fight in it. Looks like a nice mama. Oh, shit. There it goes. Gone. Hooked up. Guys, all of a sudden. Guys, we moved to this gap, started jigging, and a ton of fish moved in here. Justin lost one a little bit ago, probably didn't get that, but now he's hooked up and it's staying on. Double up, Joshy. Josh is right there. He just caught a female. Tommy literally said one of these got a hit, and I was literally just boat. How's the new Triumph feel with the St. Cry? Amazing. St. Cry, baby. Alright, maybe camera down. Yeah? Get ready with the night, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm gonna put this camera down, help Justin net this. I literally just texted my dad, it'll happen too. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm ready. Ready? I can't really see it. Oh. Hold on, hold on. I know, I'm not, I'm not going for a shitty that job. Oh yeah, right in the corner of the mouth. That mama. Oh my god, look at that. Let's go. Hook popped out. Hook popped out. Hook popped out in the nut. That's a nice one. All right, guys, first one of the day. Nice fat mama. Smoke the hot spoon by Ericadia. Decided to try it out. Very nice one. Beautiful fish. Alright guys, here's what came from today. Put it on the scale, 22.5, and that, that is after uh, draining all the blood out of it. As you can see here, we cut the gills so the eggs don't have blood. I don't know how much weight that even takes off the fish, but uh, solid fish right there. So we're gonna show you guys what we do with these females after we get them. Alright guys, so literally, all you wanna do, cut down the belly, nice and easy. All right, a little gruesome scene here, but rip out the parts we don't need. All these disgusting guts. Make sure you cut it. Go. Oh, that's crap. Look at that. <laughs> what is this even? In liver? I was, I was gonna guess liver. Look right, at those low. Beautiful. No. More stain, add to our collection. Follow the membrane up. 
pop. There you go. Still tight, still in its membrane. Beautiful loaf right there. This is what you want your skein to look like, still in the membrane. That's gonna help us catch a lot more king salmon throughout the year. One. Right out like butter. And as you can see here, sometimes all the blood doesn't get out of the veins, but you can push that out later. It's not very hard to do. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. You guys will be seeing a video very, very shortly of myself catching one. Me and Justin filmed a video back August 25th. Uh, we're actually waiting to post that stuff. So this is actually Justin's third king. I already have one. Unfortunately, I did not get one today. We're gonna post a lot of these recent videos just because we're, we were in like a spot where we didn't really wanna blow it up. So it's one of those things where we were asked nicely too by other salmon anglers not to post it. So we'll kind of see, but we're obviously gonna catch a shit ton more kings. The season has officially went in full swing now. So it should be really good. Hopefully every single day, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please remember to leave a like, drop a comment guys. Remember we have to drive an hour and a half here every single time, hour and a half here, hour and a half home. And we have to spend about 80 bucks in gas every time. So leave a like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button. If you guys are not subscribed, two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays, and we are out. Early mornings, late night cruising, up and down the crystal cove and through the uneasy stream. Bass fishing, Corona drinking, we're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax, McGrath fishing is all you need.